everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists at Northwestern University have created the first blood test capable of detecting whether an adult patient suffers from depression. The test works by identifying RNA markers associated with depression. It was developed by a team led by Professor Ava Rendai, who previously developed a similar test to detect depression in adolescent patients. The test is the first tool able to provide doctors with an objective, laboratory-based diagnosis of depression. In addition to diagnosing depression, the test is also useful for charting the success of cognitive behavioral therapies designed to treat it. Patients who were tested then underwent several months of therapy and saw their symptoms of depression improve were tested again and found to have different levels of the RNA markers. The study of the test was published in the journal Translational Psychiatry. Next up, engineers at the University of Cambridge are experimenting with new materials that could eventually lead to even faster, even smaller, even more efficient computers. In a recent study, the results of which are published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the Cambridge engineers built processors and memory devices that replaced silicon with phase change materials, or PCMs, which switch back and forth from a crystalline to a glass-like state in response to electrical impulses. The engineers admit that their work is far from finished, and that PCM-based devices are nowhere near ready to replace silicon-based processors and memory but PCMs would allow such devices to be scaled down as much as 10 times smaller than silicon does and enable processors to function at speeds 1,000 times faster than current computers. And finally, NASA has selected two companies which will build the next generation of American manned spacecraft. Boeing and SpaceX won the contracts to build the spacecraft which will transport astronauts and cargo to and from the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Since the retirement of the space shuttle three years ago, NASA has relied on Russia to transport crew to and from the space station aboard its Soyuz spacecraft at a cost of $70 million per seat. The commercial crew program is scheduled to begin flying in 2017. This will not only return the capability of sending astronauts to low Earth orbit to the U.S., it will free NASA to focus its effort and resources on preparing for future deep space missions, including a return visit to the Moon and, eventually, Mars. A new blood test can diagnose depression, processors made from new materials promise faster and more efficient computers, and NASA takes a big step toward resuming American manned spaceflight. That's the good news. You're so quiet. What am I going to do for a tag?